Every so often I get reminded that I really don't understand exactly what I've created here. It seems as though the human brain cannot occupy any simulated environment alone. In much the same way we're unable to sleep without dreaming, it seems the brain populates these areas somehow, typically, with other humans. The nature of the populace seems to be directly related to the user's state of mind regarding the environment itself. Something to monitor. I get it now. All this trippy shit. You've been pumping the place full of hallucinogens the whole time. I thought you were better than that. found. One matching profile. Robert Ramsey. You, you fucking bastard. Let me out of here now. This has gone on long enough. Calm down, Mr. Black. That glass is bulletproof, shatterproof and soundproof. Your words cannot reach me and your bullets cannot harm me. Now, move on. We are so very close to the truth. All roads end here, Mr. Black. Time for answers. You know the protocol by now. Let us see exactly what secrets you are hiding. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not hiding anything. We have a name. Howard. He's the enemy. If only it were that simple, Mr. Black.
Howard's lost everything when you stole the corner gun from me. It would make sense he'd want revenge. The only question is why would you have any memory of meeting him? The only memory I have of Roger Howard is the night I stole the corner gun. We'll see, Mr. Black. We'll see. This memory looks to be unstable. Disrupt it as little as possible, Black. Don't go in all guns blazing. from me, Black, and I will find out what. I'm not hiding anything. You still take me for a fool. Look how many mercenaries there are, Black. A memory will only seek to protect itself in this manner if its owner doesn't want it to be examined. Substance recognized. Polytetrafluoroethylene sniper rifle cleaner. So tired of this shit. Me too, mate. Two months since we last got paid. This is bollocks.
this works. Howard. Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? Every man has his price, Slack. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. Oh, <laughs> 